This is a laser and I can use it to demonstrate something that you've learned from a very young age, which is that light travels through space in straight lines. The laser is shining onto the screen. You can see the spot where it meets the screen. And I can make the laser beam visible by spraying some water mist into its path. You can see the beautifully straight path that it takes. Now, you've probably also heard that light travels through space as a wave. And I can use this laser to demonstrate why scientists believe that to be the case. Now to do that, I need a wire. It's a thin wire, it's only 100 micrometers in diameter. The wire is held vertically between these two clamps. Now I'm going to slide this wire into the path of the laser beam. Before I do that, I'd like you to predict what you expect to happen to this dot on the screen. Most people expect to see a shadow where the wire blocks some of the laser light. So if this represents the circle on the screen, then most people expect the wire to come in front of the spot and leave a shadow. Let's see what actually happens. You can see here where the light has hit the wire and on the screen, you can see, well, it's not a shadow. There's no line down the middle at all. In fact, that's the brightest part of the pattern. And coming out on either side, horizontally, we can see a pattern of bright and dark regions. So what's going on here? We can only explain this pattern if we understand that light travels through space as a wave. The light waves travel from the laser to the wire and they're diffracted as they pass either side of the wire. That is, they're bent into the region behind the wire. Light waves which have traveled one way around the wire meet up with light waves which have traveled the other way around the wire and they interfere with each other in the region between the wire and the screen. So let's take a look at this pattern in detail. In the center, we can see there's a bright spot. There is no dark line. What's happening here is that light waves which have traveled around each side of the wire are arriving in step, that is in phase. The wave crests add to each other, leading to constructive interference and a bright spot. If you move a little bit further out on the pattern, we reach a dark region. What's happening here is that the light waves which have come around one side of the wire are arriving exactly out of step, that is out of phase with the light waves which have traveled around the other side of the wire. That leads to destructive interference. If we move a little bit further out, again we get constructive interference between the light waves which have traveled each way around the wire. And this pattern repeats as we go further out. Now, this is quite a simple demonstration to do, but the detailed explanation is really rather complicated. The key point to remember is that it's impossible to explain this kind of pattern without the idea that light travels through space as a wave.